Texas weather has a reputation for being unpredictable. But we knew about the winter storm. We knew about February 2021. Start moving the patients that are still out of power. Get these guys out of these temperatures. We did not know it would cripple our electric grid. Well, everything around here is frozen. Leave millions in the dark and many in the unforgiving cold. Did they stand a chance? They probably did not stand a chance. The temperatures were that frigid and that cold. 139 straight hours below freezing. The intake of the decedents. Dr. Amy Gruzecki is a forensic pathologist at American Forensics. She's seen just about everything because she had to. It is my job to determine how somebody dies. This was the night it had hit below zero. It just shuts down and freeze. Hospice care patient, very cold, need transport. The reality is cold kills. 246 people across Texas died that week. 22 people in Dallas County. Many were our most vulnerable population. You're shivering, it's just gonna get colder, come on. The homeless. Golly, your shoes are frozen, dude. The only contacts for many of them were the police officers who found them. The Dallas County Medical Examiner reports are a tough read. Their final moments were not in the warmth or with family. We told you earlier this week about Donald Smith and Raymond Jaimes. Both were found lying in the snow. Where a person starts losing the feeling in their hands and their feet. Many died of hypothermia. Medical definition, the body loses heat faster than it can produce it. That shivering response is the body's attempt to generate heat, literally by shaking itself. The core body temperature drops, shivering to shallow breathing, to a systematic shutdown of the heart, nervous system, and organs. The internal organs would have that pinkish discoloration that would be much brighter. He was out there about today. Yeah. Donald Smith was homeless, but more importantly, you know, their brother. It's the way that it, that it happened. He was found right here. In the road. On the road. Raymond Jaimes lost power to his apartment. A son, a brother, an uncle. He suffered from epilepsy. His sisters fear he had an episode. We won't get to see him grow old. The medical reports reveal another sad reality. Five Dallas County cases of paradoxical undressing. Medical definition, irrational behavior in exposure to extreme cold, where the victims remove their clothes. They start to hallucinate, and then they um, get confused, and they start to feel warm. They think they're warm, even though they're far from warm. Raymond and Donald were not these cases. Dr. Gruzecki says she sees it in one out of five hypothermia cases. The reason a person Shedding clothes only speeds up their death. It's an unbelievable process. It's sort of scary when you hear it. To know a loved one died this way is hard enough. But when you realize they shouldn't have died at all. You get mad sometimes. We want people to know his name. When I go home at night, I, I replay those scenarios in my head. 246 deaths. Carbon monoxide investigation. 246 reasons this can't happen again. It is my job to give that individual a voice as to what happened to them. It's the storm we knew about. We just didn't know it would hurt. Like this. In Dallas County. I'm Joe Panicker.